All right, now, now that we've got our uh, holes drilled, let's go ahead and make a pocket that goes through the part. And this will be just like we did in the previous lesson. So we've got this pocket here. I'm going to go ahead and select this face. And uh, before I left click to tell it that I want to select that face, I'm going to hold down the shift button. And it's going to select all of the faces that propagate around this shape here. And so I've selected all of those faces. With that done, I can go up here to my auto chain, click auto chain, and now it's created a chain feature that goes all the way around here that defines where I want that pocket to be. Now let's remember from our previous lesson, we go up here to our solid mill traditional toolbar, we find the pocketing tab, We'll choose our tool, we'll start in the general toolbar, we'll make sure, so it remembered last time we used the 3 8 end mill, it's got that still selected. For our strategy, concentric out seems good. Let's go ahead and say yes to spiral, and we can say yes to the morph mood move, and if you want to learn more about that, you can go ahead and read about it in the um, context sensitive help up here. Uh, spiral tolerance looks good, our total depth, that's the depth of our part, that looks good. Incremental depth 375. We remember from our feed and speed chart for that tool that that works. On the pocket tab, yep, on the rough tab. Let's just double check our, our feeds and speeds here. All right, so if we're going to cut this in a Haas Mini Mill, our maximum spindle speed is 6,000 RPM, which is a surface speed of about 600. Uh, let's go to our feed and speed chart here, see if I can find it. Back over here, manufacturing labs, end mills for non-ferrous materials. We've got our 3 8 inch end mill. It says we want to go up to 6,000 surface speed, surface feet, so that's okay. Our incremental depth can be 0.375. Our step over for this tool can be 0.9375. XY feed rate 003. And our Z feed rate that they've given us here in the chart is 0006. So that's about a quarter of our 003. Let's go back to a spree. So XY feed rate per tooth is 0 0.003, 0 0.006, and nope, all right, climb milling, step over, how much do we want to step over? So it tells us here for this particular tool, And so I can go ahead and paste that in here. It will calculate then for me if I click somewhere else, so that's doing a 25% step over. We'll leave stock allowance walls alone. Now we don't want to plunge at point, especially not this point over here, which is the last one that we did. So we're going to go ahead and say helical contained for our entry mode. Let's make that helix angle 5 degrees for this tool. And if entry mode fails, we'll skip. Exit mode can come up. Links, we're good to go. And OK. So now we've got our pocket that goes through the part and our holes that go through the part. Let's go ahead and simulate one more time. And again, we're ignoring that boss on the top of the part for now. And we're also ignoring the chamfers on the outside edge of the part and on the holes. So that looks good.